guys welcome back to my channel my name is Michelle if you guys are new here and I am a college student who's aspiring to become a dentist so that's why I wanted to create a new series on my channel dedicated to like dental school related stuff and like vlogs for when I'm in dental school so yeah welcome to this video um, in this video I'm probably going to be talking about uh, what you should do to help you get into dental school and like what are the smart steps to take to guide you along to dental school so um, I just finished the application cycle for dental school and I am uh, I finally committed to dental school so I'm really happy about that I just wanted to share some tips and give some advice to you guys to help you guys out in the future and probably make your application cycle a lot easier and less stress-free. Honestly, I think that most of the tips I'm going to give in this video uh, is not only just relevant to dental school but uh, life in general as like a science major. Like if you want to go to medical school, a lot of the tips I give will also be like applicable to that too. But um, with that, let's get started with the video. So I know a lot of you watching this may be like high school students or college students and you might be unsure of whether or not you want to go to dental school or pursue a career in dentistry. So first I wanted to talk about how to like spark your interest and know for sure that you want to go to dental school or something in the medical field. So first I think that you should have passion for um, this field. It's very important that you want to wholeheartedly help other people um, and you have like an interest for science. Um, I think that it's also very important to not be scared of blood or needles because clearly in the medical field um, and as a dentist you will have a lot of exposure with blood and a lot of that stuff so it is important that you can see yourself doing and loving this job. If you already do take an interest in dentistry I think that it is very smart to go and check out like courses offered to pre-dental students at dental schools for example. Um, I know a few dental schools and some like medical schools in general offer courses for high school students and college students to um, enroll so that they can see what it's like to become a dentist, a doctor, a physical therapist, um, it's etc. and etc. Another good thing you guys can do is to volunteer at a hospital or um, at a dental clinic to see whether or not you like the profession. It helps to be hands-on with like the job that you want to do in the future so that you know for sure if you want to become um, a dentist or not because you don't want to go through four years of undergrad and maybe a couple years of dental school only to realize that it isn't what is right for yourself so it is very important to immerse yourself in the field and get an understanding of what this job is like so the second thing I want to talk about is um, what classes to take in college. So if you're a college student or if you're like um, a high school student, you clearly want to become a bio major because in the science field it is important to take all the biology classes so that you have a basis, like a good foundation for um, medical school or dental school before you enter. And I don't necessarily think that you have to be a bio major. I think that you can be other majors too, but it's very important that you take all of the necessary requirements um, to help you do better in dental school. And most dental schools also require you to like take general biology and like general chem, um, organic chemistry. Some schools even require biochem and psychology. But um, I just think that it is important that you guys really know what you're getting yourselves into uh, because if you do struggle with your biology classes and you don't find any interest in that, then maybe a job in the dentistry field isn't right for you. Now, um, if you do know that you for sure are going to apply to dental school, I do recommend taking your biology, your chem, your organic chemistry. I highly recommend biochem. Um, anatomy and physio are also very important because it's the study of the body, the functions of the body, and the structures of the body. So um, yeah, those classes will definitely help as well. Um, personally, I took microbiology to study um, the different like drugs that you can use to treat different diseases. I also took uh, genetics, which is a really good like foundation for biochem because a lot of the things that you talk about are very similar. 
I also took histology um, and I thought that class was really good because it kind of like went more in depth with um, anatomy and like things that you learn in physio maybe so I thought that was also a great class um, overall I think it's just good to take as many biology related courses as possible. You can never be too over prepared for dental school as I like to think about. Um, I mean, dental school is going to be very hard and very rough, especially with your didactic courses. Um, the courses move by very, very, very quickly. So you want to have a very good like foundation in science already so that when you are taking those courses for a second time in dental school, you will have prior knowledge and you won't just be confused and um, behind in dental school because that's probably like the worst thing to happen in dental school especially with all the things you have to keep up with. Um, so alongside of doing well in your science classes, um, I think it is also important to immerse yourself in extracurricular activities. You don't want to be like a one-track student where, oh, this person gets the best grade in his courses, but what else has he done? So I think one good extracurricular activity that um, all students should do is research. So um, you can you can probably ask like your school biology professors if you can research with them because um, dental schools do look for research. Like you can put under uh, activities or jobs that you've done like research, and um, some schools really base their decision heavily on like research experience um, that a student has so it's important that you get started on that early and don't save it for like last minute because it shows um, consistency and dedication if you've done it for multiple years so um, it's also a good opportunity to like get yourself out there and like publish papers um, present your research findings and whatnot and it's just a good thing to add to your resume on top of like just schoolwork I would say. So other clubs that um, I think are also very important to join are like dental related clubs. Um, these dentistry related clubs may also like teach you how to uh, get into dental school because you'll be in a club full of people who also aspire to be dentists and it's good to be around people who have the same dreams and passions as you do because then you don't feel so alone and uh, it helps to like encourage each other to do well and then you can also find like opportunities within those dentistry related clubs like um, you can find opportunities to research with local dentists uh, maybe some opportunities to like go spread oral health awareness in the community for example so um, I also think those are really good clubs to join or you can just join other clubs that promote healthcare in general I mean it doesn't have to be specifically dentistry related there is Operation Smile out there and they help children who have cleft lips and cleft palates um, get the surgery that they need to survive and that's very oral health related so that's a club I personally joined and so I thought it was a really good opportunity for me um, because I want to be a dentist. There are other clubs out there where you can uh, go travel abroad to like a third world country and help um, like raise awareness for healthcare um, and provide services to help like the local people out. And I think those are really good opportunities as well. So going along with the whole research thing and um, researching for maybe one of your bio professors, it is really important to get close to your professors at school because you are going to need to get letters of recommendation from science professors. So it's important that you um, have good relations with science professors because then they can help guide you on your path and um, they can write your letter of recommendation for you when you do apply to dental school or medical school. So I think it is very important that you go and shadow your local dentist. So um, many people think they want to become a dentist but they don't really know much about the profession. So if you go and shadow your local dentist, your orthodontist or periodontist or whatever, um, I think that you'll get like firsthand experience and see what it is actually like to be a dentist, for example. And plus you will need a letter of recommendation from a dentist when you apply to dental school. So it is good to get started early on that as well. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the DAT. It is very similar to like the SAT or the ACT and the MCAT, but 
the DAT is for dental school and you will need to take the DAT to get into dental school because they would like to see your scores and how you compare to other students. So it is very important to do well on your DAT just like it's important to do well in your classes. And a lot of people struggle to do well on the DAT, but I think that if you put in the time and the effort to study for it, anyone can do well. Um, you also have the option to take it multiple times, although the dental school will see how many times you took it and your score on each test. So that is up to you. It, I mean, obviously it would be better to do your best um, on the first test so that you don't have to retake it. But of course, there are um, options if you don't do as well as you would like on the first test. So all in all, I just think that if you are passionate about dentistry and you really want to pursue a career as a dentist, um, I think that it'll show in your application and during your interview process because it'll definitely set you apart from other candidates. I think it is good that you know what you're getting yourself into and you're not just like in it for the money. I think it is crucial that you don't stress yourself out during the process of getting into dental school. Um, you just have to trust the process. It's a long time. You basically spend half your year worrying about applying to dental school, interviewing, and whether or not you will get in or not. But if you tried your best during college and you put all your effort into um, doing well in school, uh, immersing yourself in like extracurricular activities, and having fun while doing it, I think that you should not worry too much and that stressing out or checking SDN pre-dental forums will drive you crazy. If you guys work hard and have the dedication and passion for wanting to become a dentist, you will eventually be able to become a dentist. So with all that said, um, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys have any more questions, leave it down below in the comment section. I will try to answer all of your questions, and if not, I'll probably answer them in another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it somewhat informative. I hope you guys like this video and if you did uh, you should hit the like button down below i'm planning to make a lot more videos in the future regarding dental school so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye